Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to eat twice as much while keeping the calories the same and give you some healthy alternatives to your common foods and snacks. So have you ever started a diet and then realized that you had no idea how many calories were packed into the foods that you were eating? Don't worry, it gets the best of us. Even myself, when I first started tracking my fitness pal, there were things that I was eating that I was completely shocked of how many either carbs or calories they had in it. And so we often get this question of coach, what I'm doing wrong. Today, in this video, I'm gonna show you what 200 calories looks like in a common problem foods and offer better and more satisfying alternatives. Problematic protein sources include full fat ground beef, pork chops, bacon, and fattier steak cuts due to their high calorie and fat content. Now alternatives, the leaner options are like extra lean ground turkey, chicken breast, turkey bacon versus regular bacon, egg whites versus regular eggs, and shrimp are better choices. When it comes to full fat ground beef, which is 80% lean and 20% fat, they're approximately 280 to 300 calories for 200 grams, giving you 34 to 38 grams of protein per 200 grams. Now, extra lean ground beef, where it's 95% lean ground beef and 5% fat, that's approximately 150 to 170 calories for 200 grams. And that's 42 to 46 grams of protein per 200 grams. So not only is the extra lean ground beef have less calories, but you're also getting more protein per serving. When it comes to carbs, problematic carb sources include snacks like Oreos, potato chips, high calorie cereals. Now all these things are super tasty and they're also easy to overeat. We're looking at volume dense alternatives. So things like strawberries, chopped up carrots, puffed wheat, and air pop popcorn. So a standard Oreo cookie, okay? So for approximately 200 grams, that's about 18 cookies, which is a lot, but who here hasn't eaten 18 cookies in one sitting? I know I have, but that's about 900 to 1,000 calories for 200 grams. Now air popped popcorn without adding any extra butter or oil is approximately 80 to 100 calories for 200 grams, which is 10 to 12 cups of popcorn, which is a lot of popcorns. Continuing with the carbs, pasta and rice are easy to overconsume. Cauliflower rice or zucchini noodles are recommended alternatives. So one cup of cooked white rice, which is my lumpiest favorites, is approximately 200 to 215 calories. Now, depending on the type of rice or brown of rice, that's roughly what it is. So that's approximately 45 to 50 grams of carbs. And again, it just depends on the type of rice and the brand of rice. But let's compare that to the healthy alternative, which is one cup of cauliflower rice, which is approximately 25 to 30 calories and approximately five to six grams of carbohydrates. So one cup of white rice is 200 calories. One cup of cauliflower rice is 20 calories, whereas the cup of rice is 50 grams of carbs, whereas the cup of cauliflower rice is only five. You think, which one's the better option? When it comes to fats and determining which fats you should choose, oil-based salad dressings, we all know they can add up quickly, but it's easy to grab the dressing, douse it, and think that we're eating healthy because we're eating a salad, but really, once you add that high fat oily dressing salad to it or even some of the salad dressing are super high in sugar yes you're eating a salad which is healthy but if you're just dousing it with thousands of calories of dressing you've basically done the opposite now a good alternative to a fatty dressing or a sugary dressing is red wine vinaigrette and you can always add more salad toppers to add more flavor so a red wine vinaigrette has low to no calories but if you don't like just having spinach and red wine vinaigrette, you can always add like cranberries on top, a couple cranberries, a couple of almonds or whatever it is that you like. It would still be less calories and healthier for you than if you douse the salad with an oil-based or sugar-based salad dressing. So is anybody else shocked? I mean, there you have it. It's a sneak peek on how to make wiser food choices while you're on your journey to a better health and to trimming down. But remember, 
It's not about good or bad foods. It's about making the choices that align with your goals. So by being aware of the calories in your favorite foods and opting in for smarter alternatives, you can eat more, control your hunger, stick to your diet, and ultimately hit your goal. So if you have any suggestions for food swaps, guys, put them in the comments section. We're here, all here to help one another on our journey. And if you're looking for healthy food swap ideas, then in the description, I put a link where it's called Fit Club Food Swap Cheat Sheet. Click that link, enter your email, and I'll send it right over.